I'm going to demonstrate how to do dynamics in Sibelius briefly. I'm going to use this extract from a piano piece by Frederick Ruzewski, where we've got to put in a crescendo marking there, and a forte, and a hairpin, and a piano marking there. Um, starting with the forte and the piano, uh, let's just zoom in a little bit here. Sibelius called these expressions. So if I select a note here, I can go Create, Text, Expression, and I now have a flashing cursor. If I now right-click, if I hold down my mouse and right-click, I can put the forte in, and that gives me a forte expression mark. Uh, if I delete that again, we can see that when we went Create, Text, Expression, it told us the key command, which is Command E. So what I can do instead is I can select that, go Command key down, and type E, and that I get my flashing cursor again. Once again, I can right click here and get a forte marking. Now, the fact that that says Command F is slightly confusing. What it doesn't mean is this. If I select that note and go Command F, it doesn't give me a forte marking, it gives me a find box. What that does mean is the following. Select the note, Command E. Now I'm holding the Command key down, and now I type F. And that will allow me to type in whichever dynamics I need. Forgetting to hold the Command key down has the following um, undesirable result. I select the note, I go Command E. Now if I forget to hold down the Command key, what I get is the F, but I get the F in the wrong font. You can see that's not the correct appearance for this marking. So, OK, to do our two markings, select there, Command E, F, and select that note there, Command E, P. Now, there's a hairpin, a, de a diminuendo marking in between these two. Very simple. They're called lines. So, again, I can go Create Line, and I can pick the diminuendo line that I want there. OK. Now my pointer is showing me where do I want to put that in. I can put that in there. And then I can grab little handles at the end of this and change the size so it fits nicely. Again, it's a common marking. We want to know the key command. Um, hairpins are basically very easy. I select the bar where I want it and I go H for hairpin. Unfortunately, that gives me a hairpin in this case going in the wrong direction. The key command for hairpin going in the other direction is Shift H. So if I hold that there, put down the Shift key and type H, I get the hairpin going in the other direction. The final dynamic marking here is the word crescendo, which I'm just going to check which bar that occurs in. Give me a second. That occurs there. Um, a crescendo mark, again, are put in as expressions. So again, I can select where I want it to go. Create, text, expression. But we already know the key command, which is command E. Once again, once I have my flashing uh, mark, I can hold down. And if I look further down the menu, if I right click, you see the marking for crescendo is there. Now, Sibelius puts this, as is conventional uh, with most music, below the staff, or in this case, between the two staves for piano music. We'll notice that what Rzhevsky decided to do in his manuscript was to put it above the stave, which is just a little uh, tidier, as it's rather uh, crowded in this case. And that's very easy. We can take our crescendo marking and just drag it so it sits wherever we want it to do. So that's the, um, basically, I guess, the three basic kinds of crescendo marking in Sibelius. Text, uh, dynamic abbreviations, I suppose, and hairpins.